Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the greatest and first of the commandments, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Welcome, one and all, to Daily Devotions at Kirk on Tuesday the 13th of October. My theme this week is a hero of the faith, an American woman, Dorothy Day. Let us come before God, let us pray. He's got you and me sister in his hands. He's got you and me brother in his hands. He's got the poor of the world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Thanks be to God. Amen. Dorothy Day was the real thing. She was born in Brooklyn in 1897 and she became interested when she was at university in Chicago about helping workers and the poorest people in society. She returned to work in New York City. She was a journalist on socialist newspapers and she had a rather turbulent private life. Eventually, she decided that the best way she could help people was to write and she produced a magazine with Peter Morin. It was called The Catholic Worker and it raised all kinds of causes. She spoke out for votes for women. She spoke out for the homeless. She spoke out for the campaign for nuclear disarmament. She didn't just speak out though, she also became very active. She was somebody who carried her thoughts into words. She had two Psalms which spoke very powerfully to her, Psalm 9 and Psalm 10, and I'm going to read a couple of verses from each Psalm. Verse Sorry, Psalm 9 says, God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. And then Psalm 10 ends with these words. The Lord is king forever and ever. Those who worship other gods will vanish from his land. You will listen, O Lord, to the prayers of the lowly and you will give them courage. You will hear the cries of the oppressed and the orphans. You will judge in their favour, so that we mortals may cause terror no more. Thanks to God for this reading from his word. To his name be the honour and the praise. Since Dorothy was a writer, I thought it would be good to share just a sentence or two from her work. She said, the spiritual works of mercy are to admonish the sinner, to instruct the ignorant, to counsel the doubtful, to comfort the sorrowful, to bear wrongs patiently, to forgive all injuries, and to pray for the living and the dead. The corporal works are to feed the hungry, to give drink to the thirsty, to clothe the naked, to ransom the captive, to harbour the harbourless, to visit the sick and to bury the dead. To these things she committed her life, her entire life, and so she deserves our thoughts and our remembering today. Let us consider what we give our lives to in terms of the gifts of our talents and our money as we remember Dorothy Day in our prayers. Let's pray together. Loving God, you give us the great gifts of time and talent and money and you invite us to use them wisely to help your kingdom break through on this planet. Let us use our time wisely, supporting organisations which build up community and society. May your love 
reach all who are going through times of suffering within our community. The ill, the bereaved, those worn and those broken by unjust systems. We pray for the unpopular, the unconventional, for those who find human relationships difficult, for those who bravely carry secret burdens. We give thanks today for people like Dorothy Day, who stayed the course and who made a difference and who is remembered with gratitude around the world. Let us join with the whole church in heaven and on earth as we pray together saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now grace, mercy and peace from the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be with us, all those we love and all those we should love, from this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>